Welcome to Candid Conversations with Candidates, sponsored by Growing Power in partnership with the Brainerd Lakes Chamber and Lakes Media Collaborative. I'm Dave Johnson, and with, with me is Ed Shaw, candidate for Brainerd Alderman Ward 2. Welcome, Ed. Ah, thanks. Uh, if you want to take a few minutes to introduce yourself to the voters, and then we'll go to the questions after that. Sure. Thanks for having me, and thanks for listening. Name's Ed Shaw. live at 517 North 9th Street, and... I work on South 6th Street, have my law office there. I'm running for Brainerd City Council Ward 2. Ward 2 is North Brainerd, area around Gregory Park. It's some areas north of north of the river, North Town, Beaver Dam Road, Riverside Drive. Also includes Tyrol Hills and area around College Drive, Central Lakes College. By the time you see this, I will be married. I'm not yet married. And let's see, where why I'm running. Probably should tell you that. And a few of you have probably already seen my brochure, or I've probably seen quite a few of you at this point. I'm the guy with the green brochure. I've never been in city council. I've never been in any government position of any kind. I think Barron's a great place to live. I, I like it here. I like living here. I like working here. But we've suffered from bad leadership for a long time. We have some serious issues. As a result, our unemployment rate is the highest in the state, 13.6% at the dispatch report a week or two ago. It's been in double digits for 21 straight months, and it's often been the highest in the state during that time. When it hasn't been the highest in the state, it's been close to it. You know, we need, we, there's no excuse for that. We need new people in government. We can do better. I'm running because I want to see Brainerd do better. I want us to be a leader in the right way, not a leader in the wrong way with the highest unemployment rate in the state. If you elect me, I will. here is what I will do. I will take no salary until our unemployment rate falls below 10%. I think leaders should share the sacrifice of their citizens. A lot of us are suffering from hard times. I think our leadership should share in that sacrifice. I promise to do that. I hope other candidates and office holders will follow suit, will take some kind of sacrifice with their citizens. That will give us more incentive to get the economy moving again. I will hold contractors accountable. Many of you have experienced construction projects like I have on the north side. Many streets, North 9th Street, Kingwood, have been under construction. This project and many others have been delayed considerably. Completion date is months later than when they promised. There's often cost overruns. We need to hold contractors accountable. We're not doing that. We need to do a much better job on that. We need to hold city staff accountable to do a better job to get the city moving again, to bring jobs in, to get our economy moving. We need to hold staff accountable. If they can't get the job done, we can't be afraid to replace them. We, I do support the completion of the College Drive project. We've talked about that for a long time. It needs to be done for safety reasons. It's an improvement to bring people to the city. We need to get that done. I will promote walkable and child-friendly neighborhoods. Neighborhoods where people want to live, where they can walk, where their kids can play outside safely. I will support that. And I will support <coughs> consistent, common sense enforcement of regulations. There's some excessive red tape at City Hall. It drives some businesses away. It makes life difficult for homeowners looking to improve their properties. I will support streamlining regulation, supporting people improving their properties, not putting roadblocks in their path. Now, thank you. Okay, the City of Brainerd receives about half.